So next up is uh, my 1946 Epiphone Emperor. Uh, this happens to be a birth year guitar for me. So it's extra special. Um, its body size at the lower bout is 18 and a half inches, which makes it the largest guitar that Epiphone ever made. Has a body depth of um, three and a quarter, a scale length of 25 and a half, and a nut size of one and 11 sixteenths. Um, it's made of highly figured book matched flame uh, maple back and sides, hand carved solid spruce top, um, a seven piece uh, maple walnut neck, seven ply ivoroid body binding, triple bound heel cap, um, <clears throat> and neck binding. F holes and headstock are also a uh, triple bound and uh, has a solemnly solid ebony fingerboard with um, split block mother of pearl and abalone inlay. Um, of course, prefiguring the um, use of this design in guild guitars um, has its original adjustable rosewood bridge um, also a truss rod at the fingerboard uh, extension. It has a, uh, everything is original on this guitar except for the pick guard, which is um, uh, period correct. Uh, it has all gold uh, plated um, hardware and the original gold uh, frequencer uh, tailpiece over here and has original gold Epsilon logo 16 by one um, tuners. And uh, the glory of the Epiphone line, this is the emperor, the largest and most costly instrument produced in the New York factory. Um, Okay, I'm going to give it um, uh, a run for you to see how it sounds. It has a beautiful uh, tree of life insignia on the top here in um, Mother of Pearl and Abalone inlays. By the way, this example of the emperor is in excellent condition. Uh, there are no cracks. Um, there is no, uh, there are no really major nicks in it either. Um, and the Adirondack um, spruce carved book match top is in excellent condition and beautiful, uh, as is the side and back, which are in maple. And uh, as you can see, it's a beautiful tie hiker striped um, uh, maple. Okay, so here's the, what she sounds like.
Okay, that's the Emperor 1946 Epiphone. 